those discs have changed colour rather dramatically. When I got home yesterday, they were too hot to touch. When I move my wheel, it doesn't flow freely. So I think the brake pads here are sticking. <laughs> okay, so I've been having a little bit of a disaster with my rear caliper. So by putting the caliper back together again, I was able to use the hydraulic pressure to uh, push this piston out of this side of the caliper and get that out. Um, this side, however, uh, isn't budging even a little bit. So what have I tried so far? Okay, so I've tried your typical with a rag, pliers, mole grips, sticking this into a vise so that I can try and make sure I pull it up nice and straight. I tried reassembling the caliper and using the hydraulic pressure to pump it out. That was having none of it. I even tried um, soaking it in acetone, so your nail polish remover style, um, because that's supposed to break down the um, corroded uh, brake fluid that's in here. And it goes without saying, if you're gonna use various chemicals on your brakes, um, absolutely is a must to replace those seals. Um, that didn't work. Um, what else did I try? Uh, uh, ah, yes. <laughs> I did. I did try hitting it with a hammer because what I thought might happen is if I tried to bash it back in, that maybe equally, of course, that maybe it would um, it would release that sort of crust of uh, brake fluid um, and enable that to go back in, and that that didn't work. Um, so really, at the moment, I'm a little bit stuck. So I've ordered online um, a couple of things, really. Um, in the process of trying to get these pistons out, I've ordered a new set of pistons, of course, a new set of seals. Um, and I've also got a piston removal tool on its way, which hopefully should fit on the inside and then to pull it out at a proper 90 degree angle. So we'll give that a go. Failing that, I'm not ruling out dynamite. Although it would be great to get these back on the bike because it is actually sunny in Cornwall, can you believe it? And my bike's in the garage, which completely sucks. So the quicker we get these fixed, the better. So the piston removal kit has come. <laughs> and, um, let's see if this has any use in getting um, this very, very stuck piston out of the caliper, which I've stuck in a, in a vice, just a bit of a cloth, just so it doesn't scratch it. Um, and the way this works, this is the spare piston that was able to get out. So within this set, there's lots of different adapters and ends. Um, this looks like a 29 mil, which fits in, but the 30 mil um, doesn't. So it looks like we need to go for the 29 mil. So what happens with this? Hopefully you can see that. So you've got these slits in here. So as this gets tightened up, it literally pushes this and splays it outwards, which is what's going to grip onto the piston from the inside. Really, really very simple. So the more I tighten this, the further down this is going to go and the more that's going to splay out, the tighter it's going to um, grip onto the inside of the piston like that. Now this also comes So now the idea behind this is as I pull that back, it's a hammer effect to try to pull it out. Hopefully we're not gonna need this attachment, but we'll see how we get on. get the piston out of the caliper so I'm going to call in for some reinforcements because look at this weather I need to get out on my bike so caliper is in a box in bits and I'm heading down to Cornwall Southwest Motorcycles because Chris and Brett there are usually pretty epic and I'm hoping they can give me a hand I can't believe hang on I'm gonna turn this engine for a minute it's a bit better a bit less noisy I can't believe how easy he made that look so ta -da! <laughs> look at the corrosion it's going to focus in on it look at the corrosion that's going on there so what what chris did which was um really really smart i hadn't considered it he used the same tool that i had but rather than trying to clamp the caliper and 
pull on the tool, he clamped the tool and then twisted the caliper. I'm going to show you back at the garage what I mean because I think this is an epic top tip if you've got something as seized as that. I've got to be honest, I honestly thought I was in new caliper territory. So the fact that this has come apart, I mean it's going to need a hell of a lot of cleaning. It is pretty bad and clearly I should be doing these more often than I have been doing. Um, but the fact that it's apart, I am thrilled. I've got new pistons, new seals. Um, so excellent. I wanted to show you what Chris did at the motorbike shop, Southwest Motorcycles, because I thought it was really rather clever. See, what I was trying to do was clamp down on my caliper and then use the tool to try to pull it out. And I, I just wasn't getting anywhere with it. Uh, sliding hammer wasn't working. Um, they don't tend to use a sliding hammer at all. Um, what they do, now I do understand that this isn't quite the same because clearly look, there's no seals in it and I'm in the process of cleaning it. Um, there's the piston out. But what Chris did is he mounted the tool in the vise itself, leaving the caliper up at the top. What that then did was give him leverage to be able to lift that up and off. Honestly, it took him less than three minutes. So I think the tool is a worthwhile investment. I think it was very good. It did get out a stuck caliper, just not quite the way that I tried it. Um, but that's why you've got experts and specialists out there. So give it a good go. And then when you get out of your depth, go and get some reinforcements and some help. There's no binding, it's all free motion as well. That's a job well done.